Hello dear student. Now I am going to start computer application of class 10th, chapter number 1st, Internet Basics. Now before starting this chapter, let me describe the content or topics that we are going to cover in this chapter. The first topic or first content is internet and its component. Next one is basic internet terminology. Next is web server, website, web portal, web page and web address, URL. Now first we are going to discuss about internet and its component. So as we all know internet is a world largest network or networks of network or we can say that internet is defined as a network of millions of computers connected worldwide through lines or cables. Now if we talk about components, so we are having so many components of internet. First one is World Wide Web. World Wide Web commonly known as web is a way of accessing information over the internet. It contains million of millions of documents called web pages. Each page contains text, graphics, video, audio and links to other pages via hyperlinks. Next if we discuss about the difference between World Wide Web and Internet. So the first difference between World Wide Web and Internet is the Internet is defined as a network of millions of computers connected worldwide to share data and information whereas World Wide Web is a set of program standards and protocols which governs the manner of creating and displaying the multimedia file on the internet. Second difference is the internet works independently of the World Wide Web whereas World Wide Web is a part of internet. Next difference if we talk about so the difference is the internet is controlled by internet protocol IP whereas World Wide Web is managed by Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And apart from this, one more difference is there. The difference is, Internet offers various services such as email, chatting, forum, research database, telnet, FTP and many more. Whereas, WWW is a service available on the Internet. So we can say that, World Wide Web is a service provided by internet. Next, if we, next content or topic if we talk about then that is basic internet terminology. The first terminology is server. A server is a program that runs on a machine and it meant to provide service to the machine clients connected to it. Or we can say that a server is a machine or centralized machine which provides services to their collected clients and it accepts requests coming from the client, process the request and generate the response and send back to the client. Next terminology we call, talk about then that is client. A client is a computer system which uses a network to access a remote service from the server or all the connected computers are also known as client or node. We can say node. Next terminology is browser. It is a software application through which one searches and access information on the World Wide Web. Example Google Chrome, Internet Explorer or browser is an application software which act as an interface between 
वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब एंड यूजर वाई इंटरफेस वाई बिकॉज एज वी ऑल नो वी आर नॉट एबल टू एक्सेस डायरेक्टली एक्सेस द वेब कंटेंट दैट इज स्टोर्ड ऑन सर्वर साइट सो फॉर दैट वी नीड अ एप्लीकेशन एंड दैट एप्लीकेशन इज नोन एज ब्राउजर एंड वी ऑल नो देर आर सो मेनी ब्राउजर्स लाइक गूगल क्रोम इंटरनेट एक्सप्लोरर मोजिला फायरफॉक्स at sector next terminology is domain name it is a unique name to each website it is a unique name to each website it means it provide a unique name to the website that website are stored at server side unique name why unique name why because at server side we are having millions of websites to identify a single website we need a unique name and that unique name provided by this domain name next is website as we all know a website is a collection of interrelated web pages why interrelated why because whatever web pages a website contain that all web pages are linked together and that web pages may contain images videos and other digital media located under the same domain name next terminology is web page a web page is a digital page which may contain text hyperlink video audio images tables etc it commonly written using html and is stored on a web server in other word we can say that a page within a website also known as web page and whatever web pages are there that commonly written by using hypertext markup language next one is web addresses url the informed resource locator denotes the global address of a web resource the communication between web user and internet resources is possible by identifying each resource on the internet in a standardized manner and this url contains some elements that elements are generally if you if we visit any website then generally we find a pattern in ur the patterns like it written it goes like http colon double slash www dot suppose india dot in now in this pattern if we categorize the elements the first element is https this element is also known as scheme next element www this particular element is also known as host if we are coming to the next element that is domain name this domain name is a unique name of that particular website if we move towards the next element the next element is domain extension as we generally see every url contain some domain extension and that domain extension are very much helpful to find the particular url on the internet site or on the internet database or on the domain dictionary so these all are about the basic terminology of internet next i have given some questions dear student try to find the on answer and solution of these all given questions and prepare a proper note thank you next part we will continue in next video thank you